Hello rail fans, and welcome to French Fry Trains. Today, we're going to be doing another freight car here, and we're going to be building this old seaboard system boxcar. And as you can see here, I've done it up in black wool for the sake of the video, but you should use black concrete in your build. I just use wool so we can actually see what we're doing on this. So let's get right into it. So as usual, we'll start off with the coupler, so take out a dark oak stair and attach that up on the second layer here. Under it, a sideways dark oak fence gate in the middle. Then on the next block forward, we're going to put another eight wheel on each rail, with an end rod axle in between them. Then we're going to take deep slate tile stairs, and we're going to go two rows of three upside down stairs, and a back to back T shaped pattern in the middle. Behind it, another set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. Then we're going to put a hopper on all four wheels, and then two dark oak fence gates on the middle, and same thing on this side. Then we will crouch and put a wither skeleton skull on the side of each hopper, and of course, repeat on the other end. So a wither skeleton skull on each one over here. Then we're going to come behind this wheel here, and we're going to use black stone brick top slabs on the bottom middle. We're going to do a line of top slabs right down the center, and we're going to make that a total of 21 slabs long. 2, 1, right down the middle. 21. Then right behind this slab, do another set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. Then again, we'll go three wide of upside down deep slate tile stairs in the middle and a back to back T shape. In front of this, another set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. Then same as before, we're going to put two fence gates on the middle of each side, and then a hopper on all four netherite wheels. Then we'll crouch and put a wither skeleton skull on the side of each hopper, and then same thing over on this side. Then on the middle at the end here, put a fence gate, come up here and crouch on top of it, and put a dark oak stair going this way for the coupler. Right behind this on the second layer, we're going to go three wide in the middle with black concrete. And we're going to bring that all the way across the top middle on this second layer. And just keep it coming down here. And we're going to bring it right down until it's behind the coupler on this end right here. Now we're going to come underneath this end on this corner off this wheel and we're going to put four sideways chains here and then three grindstones right here. Then we're going to take dark oak trapdoors on this top corner, put a row of four on the top here, and then same thing at this end, a row of four on this corner. Then repeat on this side, so four trapdoors here, and then four on this corner. Then, across the middle of this, we're going to do a full row of black stone brick top slabs all the way across this outer edge and down to this end. And of course, repeat on this side, same thing, a full row of black stone brick top slabs all the way across this edge and down to this end. Then we're going to take out black stone brick stairs and we're going to come on top of the end right here. And we're going to go five wide with stairs facing the end of the car. And then we're also going to make it five tall, so a five by five of black stone brick stairs, all facing the end here. Then come down on this corner here, and we're going to put two dark oak fence gates here, two here, and we're going to repeat on this side and put two fence gates here and two here. Then we have to do the same thing at the other end of the car. So once again, we're going to do a five by five of black stone brick stairs right here on the end, all facing the end of the car. Make sure they're all right side up here. I was having some trouble placing them. Five tall. Then, once again on the corner here, put two dark oak fence gates here, two here, then two here, and two here. Then on this bottom outer edge, starting from this corner, we're going to do 11 black wool coming forward on the side, or black concrete, it would look better, but I'm using wool so that we can see it better in the video. And then do 11 on this side as well. And then we're going to raise this all the way up to the top, 
So it's five tall and 11 long, a black wool here. And repeat on this side and raise this all the way up to the top as well. So that the whole side gets filled in. And then we have to repeat on the other end. So same thing here. Just line it up exactly across. So you have a five by 11 on this corner. And then one more to go. Same thing down here. An 11 by five over here. So that all four quadrants of the car are all walled into the top here. Then we're gonna do our doors to take black stone brick stairs. And we're gonna put a col column of five stairs facing inward here and five facing inward here. Then turn around, five going this way here, five going this way here. Then we're gonna do outward facing stairs, a column of five here, a column of five here. Repeat over here, five outward facing stairs here, five here. Then a column of five black stone brick blocks right up this middle. And then same thing on this side. Then we're gonna fill in the top here. So on this level up here, we're gonna fill this whole top middle three wide with our black wool or black concrete if you're using that. And just bring this all the way across the top to the other end so that the whole car gets all the way filled in here. Now the basic shape's done, and it's time for detailing. So we're gonna come on top of these stairs here, go five wide of dark oak trap doors, skip one, do five more, skip one, five more, and we're simply gonna repeat that pattern all the way down, going five wide of dark oak trap doors with a gap of space between each row here. And just keep it coming to the other end. And if we've counted out and calculated everything correctly, we should line back up on this end on top of these stairs. Then this part's hard to see, but just so we can get an equal covering over the tops of the doors, we're gonna come back through in all these gaps between the trap doors and put five black carpet in all of the spaces. Especially right here, so we have a top over the doors. And then just repeat that in all the gaps all the way down to this end. And that way the roof is all equal here. Just like that. Now come down on this left hand corner with a bamboo sign. And we're going to put a bamboo sign here, here, and here. Then right above this middle sign start here. Knock out a row of four blocks right here fill that with yellow concrete. Then above it, start here and do a row of five blocks knocked out and fill that with yellow concrete as well. Then we're gonna repeat on the other side on this opposite end. So same thing, come to this left-hand side down here, right here, put a bamboo sign here, here, and here. Then start above this middle sign, knock out a row of four right here, put in yellow concrete. Above it, start right here, knock out a row of five. And put in yellow concrete. Then we're gonna detail the opposite end, so we're gonna come up in this corner, right here. On this third block in, and one down, knock out two, put in yellow concrete. Then knock out these two, and put in yellow concrete. Then come underneath, and we're gonna change these two to red concrete. And then these two to red concrete the logo and one more corner to go we have to repeat that on this end so same thing right here on this corner we're gonna change these two blocks to yellow concrete and then these two down here and then under it we're gonna change these two to red concrete and then these two to red concrete as well then we're gonna take out iron bars here right here a column of five iron bars and then right here on the middle of this door, we're gonna put three fence gates here, and we're gonna open the outer ones. Then underneath this in the middle, a bamboo sign here. 
we need to repeat that on this door. So, five iron bars here. Five here. Three fence gates across the middle. Open the outer ones. And a sign here. Then take out black stained glass pane. On this corner here, do a column of five stained glass panes. Skip one in between here, a column of five. It's really hard to see. Then two black here, two yellow ones here, a black on top. Same thing here, two black, two yellow, a black on top. Skip one again, do a column of five, black, and then five black right next to these iron bars. So there's a gap of space between all the stained glass panes. Then here, a column of five. Skip one, a column of five here. Skip one. And then a column of five here. Here we're going to do a black on bottom, a red, a yellow, two black. Then here, two black, a red, a yellow, a black. Then a column of five black here. So we have a columns of five stained glass panes every other block all the way down the car and matching the color of the block that's underneath them. And we're just going to repeat that whole process on this side all that same way. So where the yellow concrete is, we're going to change them to yellow stained glass panes and just columns of five every other block. And then five here. And then come over here. We'll do five here. Five here. Five here. Here, a black, a red, a yellow, two black. Here, two black, red, yellow, black, and finally, buy black on the end here. Now, take out bamboo buttons for more details. Come under here. We're going to put one under each of these signs, and then move over by this door, and we're going to put two right here. Then repeat on this side. So we're going to add two here, and one under each of these signs. Then take a bamboo sign, and on this side we're going to put one up here. We're going to put one on this top corner of the end here. And repeat over here and put one on this top corner here. Then we're going to come down under this corner, right here. And we're going to put two buttons here. And of course repeat on this end, so come to this corner and put two buttons right here. Now we need to make a banner, so come into a loom with a black banner and white dye, put a border on it, and then a horizontal in the middle. And then we will come and place this, so we're going to take this banner, and we're going to put it right here. And then repeat on this side, come over here, and put this banner here. Then we're going to take bamboo buttons again, and we're going to put two right here. And repeat on this side, and put two right here as well. So there we have it folks, we finally completed our old seaboard system boxcar. I hope everyone enjoyed the build. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and share the video wherever possible. It really helps the channel. Everyone have a great week, and stay safe out there, Railfans.